my favorite one on this record, my favorite, so it's got to be top five for me out of everything you've done, is American Tune. Um, I feel like it's, you know, it's people leaving America in hope to return. I feel like it's people coming to America in hopes of making a home. I feel like it's all this, all, both situations and everything in between is the American tune and whatever your America is. So I wasn't really certain about the theme of the song necessarily. This was my, this was me guessing based on what I could hear, but reflective certainly so tell us what the song means and tell us what this song means to you well um paul simon you know like dylan and james taylor and you know dan fogelberg cat stevens uh, songwriters i really love um i think it's one of his top top three tunes the reason why i think it's top three it, is because it's timeless everything in there is timeless uh the whole idea of how people, you know, work work away the day and yet have they go up against incredible odds. You know, their dreams are shattered. They they get tired. Uh, you know, but they're they're still going to work. Uh, uh, the the fact that the political landscape changes and people you know, ask themselves why in the world are we doing this? Um, you can't help but wonder what's going on, what's going wrong. Uh, that kind of thing. Those kinds of things are things that people think about in every generation and in every moment in history. There are people who respond to it uh, by trying to do something positive. There are people who respond to it by singing an American tune. I mean, you know, in other words, no matter what, we're going to sing, you know, God bless America and everything is going to be all right. Those kinds of people are out there too. Uh, and, and there's a certain truth to that, which, you know, it doesn't have to be an American tune. It can be any country's tune. It could be, you know, uh, a Ukrainian tune. At, at the end of the day, people go through life, uh, and there are so many changes that, that go on in their personal lives, in their political situation, in their financial lives. Um, uh, it says, but, you know, tomorrow is going to be another working day. And, you know, so uh, I'm just trying to get some rest. That's all I'm trying to do is just, you know, yeah, just to get some rest so I can, you know, get up and make it through the next day. Uh, a lot of people feel that. Um, and so, you know, I, that, to, that song to me, uh, would, you know, 50 years ago, 50 years from now, will always have great importance and implication and, and people just looking at the way that the situation happens to be in their lives at that particular time. It also was a, a benchmark thing, uh, both in the recording process and in um, the playing process. It is a cover tune. And there's no way in the world, you know, I mean, you know, I, I picked up a couple simple licks back from the early, you know, Sounds of Silence days of Simon and Garfunkel. Well, there's no way in the world that I could play guitar like Paul Simon. He is a masterful guitarist. I'm just a simple finger pick and simple strumming kind of guy. But there were certain things that, that he brought out, you know, that I that I took from uh, my experience with him and, uh, you know, and put toward that tune. But I also made the decision. I wanted to have a song on the album that was just me and a guitar. I also wanted to have a song on the album that basically allowed uh, my style, to, to, to my simple, you know, finger-picking style to shine through. Uh, it also showed me that, okay, I can't play like Paul Simon, but I love the song. So what in the world am I, am I you know, putting, you know, that off for? Uh, I can actually make that song my own. I mean, I don't play it like Paul Simon. I have a couple of little Paul Simon-y kind of moves in it, but I don't play it like Paul Simon. But I think it, my, it fits my style perfectly, and it comes across in a way that, it, that is genuinely mine, my interpretation of it, and I like that a lot. I also knew that, you know, just me and a, and a simple acoustic guitar uh, might need a little bit of enhancement. So I put down... Um, I used uh, uh, Stevie's uh, AKG 414 and put down a, a basic uh, you know, finger picking track all the way through. Then I took uh, my, my pickup, my Sunrise pickup, and I actually recorded it uh, straight from the pickup uh, and put a second track on. Then <laughs> I took it over to, uh, to Todd Gallagher's studio. I mean, it's still not uh, completed yet, but he had enough. He was up and running a little bit. And um, so basically he, he had uh, uh, road mics and blue mics. 
So we took out a blue mic, and uh, which uh, seemed to, to really pick up a, a really nice warmth uh, of, of the presence of the guitar. And so I played the track again. And so what that particular particular cut has in it are three completely separate uh, acoustic guitar tracks, all of them played, you know, at different times, but they all sound like one track because, but you know me, uh, I, I love to do that kind of shit. So, uh, and I was, it offered up really wonderful, uh, you know, engineering possibilities. Uh, I also recorded um, uh, uh, some of the vocals over there at Todd's. So at the end of the day, you know, I, it ended up being a good solo tune. I wanted to have a solo tune that I could be proud of. Also, I, that's one that I actually practice on a regular basis. So I know if I ever got in front of an audience and had, you know, a good PA and all of this that stuff and uh, got my F-50 jumbo sitting on my lap, uh, I know I could pull that one off, you know, and make it sound really, really good. Uh, it also is in a key that fits my vocal range perfectly. So that was a very special moment. It was a great collaboration with Todd in terms of making sure that I could actually get, you know, a fuller acoustic sound. But, um, yeah, uh, that is without a doubt one of my all-time favorite cover tunes. And um, I didn't perform it all that much. Uh, but, I, you know, if I ever get a chance to perform again, I will because it's, it's a goodie. There's no doubt about it. Many's the time I've been mistaken And many times confused And I've often felt forsaken And certainly misused Ah, but it's alright It's alright I'm just weary too Still, you don't expect to be bright and bon vivant So far away from home So far away from home I don't know a soul who's not been battered I don't have a friend who feels at ease don't know a dream that's not been shattered Or driven to its knees Ah, but it's all right It's all right For we've lived so well so long Still, when I think of the road we're traveling on I wonder what's gone wrong can't help but wonder what's gone wrong. And I dreamed I was dying. I dreamed that my soul rose unexpectedly, and looking back down at me, smiled reassuringly. I was flying High up above my eyes Could clearly see The Statue of Liberty Sailing away to sea And I dreamed I was flying They come on the ship they call they come on the ship that sailed the moon They come on the age's most uncertain hour And sing an American tune Ah, but it's all right It's all right We can't be forever blessed Still tomorrow's gonna be another working day 
said, I'm trying to get some rest. That's all I'm trying. Just to get some rest.